nila at todo, no? Sige daw, para sila ay mga de STIC. Ito ka mano kita, no? Ay, praise the Lord. Thank you very much. We love you. Amen. You may be seated. Okay. Ay, mga pamilya di ilan, no? Yale ba sila todo? Si Sister Pilar is bringing a lot of best friend. And we like to welcome you, Sister. Pwede to, can you stand, Sister? Amen. We like to welcome the Sister again. Thank you, sister. I have an uncle uh, who is around this morning. You bring it along, a neighbor. We we will be starting another home Bible study in the residence. My uncle, uh, so look up to me as his dear nephew. He lives in my ministry, our you know our calling to God be the glory. There is this one who's needing some help and counseling. He contacted me. And uh, I went to them there last uh, Saturday, and we were able to set up an agree on things. We will be starting a real Bible study in the house of this family, and hopefully this family will also follow after my uncle and another neighbor, hopefully in this coming Sundays. By the way, long story, don't take me to relate to you the details, because, you know, I love stories. I like it anyway to welcome si Uncle uh, Rico and uh, you know, the companion, we'd like to ask them to please stand. <laughs> Amen. Amen. No? Praise the Lord. And mga macron boys, feel me si sila, no? Pero after nun si sila taanda si Gino, uh, open as the apple. Uh, si Sister Rose, ay so chene open seat to yale ba sila? Rose Mercado. Uh, Sobrino siyempre. Sam Samuang ngayon nyo, saman nyo. Ah, Bisaya, asa mag tulo? Halimot mo po ato, asa tulapit pa nawa. Uh, yeah, we like to welcome the boy, ikaw. <laughs> Marks, ano mo, kao man, Marks? Uh, sige, we like to welcome you, boy. Sige, boy, stand in, in black shirt. Thank you so much. Uh, diba? Tapos, uh, we have a youth na who's, who's now working and uh, professional. Nalibot niyo ko sa pangalan ni mo, sister. I'd like to welcome si sister again. For a while, he's, she's not around uh, because she sits in the floor, but she comes back and whispered to me, Pastor, any time I'm in Zamboanga, <laughs> I really can't return to my home church. Okay, before we go to listen to the Word of God, that's my sermon. I guarantee you, God to revolutionize your faith this morning as you're about to receive the Word of God. But anyhow, antes kita anda, we're i receive al palabra del Señor, mantelo si pane kita unos y otros, no? Uh, how about we standing? Okay, I would like to ask you to leave out your chairs. Go really at least to five, three or five persons shake them as we. Kawa mira na almost, and then you smile. Okay, we can hug, we can kiss. I don't know how you will do it. Let's exchange pleasantries. Okay, everyone, let's all stand. Amen. Siguro we need this to sing anymore. <laughs> let's just do it. Come on, let's get around. Amen, amen. Uh, pakilaya pa. Ang laya lang ka siguro te. God bless you or welcome in the house of the Lord. Ano ka po stay this special men te ko. Para kung naliyaw to mga guests. Mata kanila sinti kay all the other values when you come to acts, your promise to be always loved and always accepted. Amen. <laughs> Praise be to the living God. God is good. And all the time. Let's remain standing as I will ask us now to uh, read the word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like us to open our Holy Scriptures from the Gospel of Matthew 15.29-39 I will be leading us uh, to read from the English Standard Version There are 11 verses Okay Leo stay and then you just follow me if you are having your scriptures Okay, here we go Jesus went on from there and walked beside the Sea of Galilee. And he went up on the mountain and sat down there. And great crowds came to him, bringing with him, with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others. And he put them at his feet and he healed them. So that the crowd wondered, and when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled, healthy, the lame walking and the blind seeing, 
and be glorified the God of Israel, then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days. Have nothing to eat. And I am willing, uh, and I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in such a desolate place to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven and a few small fish. And directing the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied, and they took up seven baskets full of the broken pieces left over. Those who ate were four thousand men, besides women and children. After seeing away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. God bless the reading of his word. Now, let's commit ourselves to God. I would just like to explain and share to us the actual and the total reality of who our God is. Because one error and mistake of the religion, they taught us wrongly, erroneously, of who our God is. Can you see here, kosa kita tauwi, ya resibi, ya insinya ko natun, kwan ba, opposite ko nel disuyo realidad. Kosa kita tapensa ko nel, kosa kita tan-understand ko nel ya atun Diyos, hindi kel amu ko nel disuyo pagka disuyo. Ang gusto ba kel? It's not the exactly who who really He is. Now, my job this morning is to explain to you. Now, I have you this one question. How do you know personally, I mean probably, how do you know perhaps God yourself? Check out this story. There was a boy who was a product of a broken home. Some of you know this broken home. Tata na na yan sa partahan. So, el anak, aya takwela na di suyo tiyo. Na el bata, Este juta y pa L, hasta ya engrata ya si L. Abusao el bata ba? Is that the chapacano? The child was an abused boy. Almost every day, this is your uncle kay toma toma door mano. Was a drum. The boy would be beaten black and blue by the uncle. Nalang masunta ta di suna na may matamen. Ya engrata le. That is your uncle, this is your auntie. And auntie, this is you. Pin me got a convince you, Nelly. Ay, mama, this is your tata. Ese uncle, this is you. Di ikaw amo sa tata, this is you. So imagine, no, beginning five, siguro hasta yung grandale. It was inculcated in his mind that the uncle is the dad. The figure in his life of the father is figure dad was the uncle. But you know what? Something was, you know, battling in his mind. No, pwede lang intindi, he cannot fathom. Kaya, mas kinuha ni Kulpa, oh, it was almost every afternoon, si Tomoyan is yung tata, is yung uncle, ako sa si Kunele, would box him, would kick him, and curse him. Now, there came a time, he had the chance to attend a gathering like this, Grande Yaele. And then uh, the boy, because that was the kind of environment that he had, there was that identity crisis they had. There were sometimes he would have to go to other friends and start to drink as well, to smoke as well. I don't know, siguro yung principiali man pot. Not drugs, no? Now, ikumida ko nila ang iglesia. At sina gano'y, no? Worship ko nila senior. And he heard the pastor for the first time preach and taught that our God is actually a father. Ano na dentro di suyo kurasun? Tang question ele. El di aton senior kiri di sir tapos sa galis yempre. El di aton senior hindi le bueno. And there's no use. There's no there no there there no much reasons anymore for me to continue in this place. Primer bes pakel disuyo anda, pero ya convince le ya, ya talk ele na disuyo kuer po abale, hindi yung continua siyang daki, dene ki. Porque, 
Kaya yung misunderstand ele kung el reality, actual nature del liapon Dios. Kaya na disuyo pinsan yento, el figure of a dad is an abusive person. The figure of a dad na na back the mind del del bata is a person who does nothing but always curse. Kung el bata Pensaba ele yung yung ano yung uh, nasa isip ng bata ang kanyang iniisip palagi pag daddy gani papa gani wala yung ibang ginagawa kung hindi kinikit yung anak sinusuntok yung anak kinikurse ang anak and worse ang naisip niya pag daddy gani iniiwan yung nanay so sabi niya what's the use to come to this church ang use pala natin ay ganun Sa kanyang kalubluhuban pala, hindi niya na alam na may in the process of time, sa habang panahon, habang tumutubo siya, habang nag-grow siya, meron pala siyang unseen hatred sa lahat ng mga daddy, sa lahat ng mga tatay. Are you there? Amen? Amen. Now, let me ask you a question. Hindi siguro pareho yung istorya mo, ano? Now, my question is this. Can it be relative? Na ang tawag ko dito, May ibang mga tao ang tingin sa Diyos na He is an angry God. Every time magkamali ka, hindi lang po tingting. Ako nung mali pa, mali pa ako, pina, pinapalaw ng nanay ko tingting. Alam niyo ng tingting? Hello! <laughs> minsan po, bakawan. Hindi pala minsan, kalimitan pala bakawan. Ha? Kaya nga, Ang iba sa atin, ang isip po natin na pag tayo po'y nagkakamali, ang Diyos po natin pinapagalitan tayo, nagagalit siya sa atin, kumukuha siya ng, ano, ng uh, rabong ipagi, <laughs> would, uh, would, would whip us, would, I mean, abuse us all of those kinds. Kaya nalidiscourage tayo pumunta sa church. Ang isip po natin, pag malapit tayo sa Panginoon, palagi tayong pinapanish pag hindi tayo nagkaka-obey ni Lord. Kaya nga, mga buhay, no, paano may lang kita ang iglesia? Kaya si Lejos kita ko ng Diyos, hindi si Eli, hindi ko natun, hindi ko natun uh, man uh, abo sa rabong ipagi. You see, how wrong, how erroneous we were taught about the kind and the character and the nature of our good God. Alam na ninyo mga kapatid, simple, precise, and just, you know, in a one description, I can, I can brag on you, I can uh, parade on you this morning, and I'm not embarrassed to tell you this. Ang Diyos po natin sa katotohanan po mga kapatid, ang Diyos po natin ay sadyang mabuti, ang Diyos po natin ay sadyang mabuti. Amen. Amen. Let me explain to you one instance. Si Jesus kasi, siya po'y ang ekspresyon ng ating Diyos na Ama. Sabi po ng uh, Philippians, Though He was God, did not make Himself equal with God, but clothed Himself as of the, the fashion of a man, and came to earth and became man. Pag makikita daw natin si Jesus Christo, sabi po ni Pablo, we actually saw God. Sapagkat ang Diyos po natin ay invisible, ang sin po ang ating Panginoon. Si Jesus Christo na nagkatawang tao, ang verbo na nagkatawang tao. Di ba, alala ninyo yun? Sa simula po ay ang verbo. At ang verbo ay ang Diyos. At ang verbo ay Diyos. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And the Word is God. Amen? Palakpakan daw natin si Lord. Genesis to yung kail, yung lekita na nantes. And I would like to summarize them to us very quickly. Now, here we go. Alam ba ninyo, nung si Jesus ay pumarito sa mundo, generally, meron siyang tatlong bagay na palaging ginagawa. Number one, He taught the people about the kingdom of God. Pangalawa po, He healed all of their diseases. At hindi lang yun. At the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, He also fed them miraculously. Now, in this instance, with bread and fishes to their full. Ganun pala, no? Pag ibibless ka ng Panginoon, pag papakainin ka ni Lord, hindi kulang-kulang yung pinapakain ni Lord sa'yo. 
Pag binibless ka ng Panginoon, binibless ka ni Lord, hindi po kulang-kulang. I guarantee you, pagbibigay si Lord sa iyo ng saluwal, hindi saluwal na hanggang dito lang. Ay, sino mo yung say, usa kay uh, korto man din yung pantalon, saluwal ba? Sa Tagalog, kasa, Tagalog ba sa pansa? Okay? Pag magbibigay po ang Panginoon ng damit sa iyo, sinisigurado ni Lord na magugustuhan mo yung damit. Why? Because the damit is the best. Pag si Lord po ay nasa sa iyong buhay, kasama, kasama mo si Lord sa iyong buhay, ang buhay mo ay gagaan. Ang buhay mo ay sasaya. May magkaroon man tayo ng problema pero may kasama ka na nalulunta sa problema mo. In fact, hindi ka lulunta sa problema mo. Ang Lord po ang siyang lulunta sa problema mo. Palapakan doon natin si Lord. So let me explain this one at a time. Alam po ninyo, kailangan natin malaman at matutunan yung kingdom, kingdom ni God. You know why? Because the world is not, is not our permanent place. Alam po ninyo na hindi tayo hanggang, hanggang pagpakailan man dito sa mundo. We only are just but temporary uh, sojourners in this world. We only are... Passers, we only are on a travel, travelers in this world. We are all heading out somewhere. Because man, when God created him, God intended him to be an eternal being. Bago lang, may isang kapatid tayo po na kumanaw. At nandun na ngayon sa presensya ni God, si Sister Gina. I'm very happy kasi Sister Gina, kinocomfort talaga ni Lord, si OG, at saka si Hana. Pero alam yung miss din natin si Brother Nono, di ba po? Mahal kasi natin ang kapatid. But the real, the real thing, Sister Jean, Brother Nono, is now with the Lord. Kailangan pumili tayo ngayon habang buhay tayo. Sapagkat meron lamang dalawang destinasyon papuntahan ng tao. Wala pong sa gitna. Huwag kayong maniwala yung sinasabi yung mga pilosopo na yung mga inchip na mag, ano, bibenta dun sa gitna. Wala ho yun. There's no middle. There's no in-between. It's only exclusively, strictly only the kingdom of God or is it the place of damnation? Let me tell you, friends, ladies and gentlemen, heaven is real. Amen. Let me tell you, if heaven is real, hell is also real. Dami pong mga characters makikita natin sa Biblia. May tao ako dyan. Mga propeta, huli din. Mga apostolis. Pero sa sa lahat kong nagsasabi na may langit at may impyerno, ang pinakamarami po na nag-introduce who talked about the existence and the reality of these two places was no other than but Jesus Himself. Sabi pa ni Jesus sa John chapter 15, If this place is not true, pag hindi ito totoo, hindi ko ito sasabihin sa inyo. But sabi ni Lord, I'm going to go to that place. This was the night before Jesus would be hanged on the cross, Thursday evening. Yung ano kasi, yung John 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, ito yung prelude evening, bago si sa chapter 18, ipinako sa cross. Sabi ni Lord, I'm going to go that place and prepare a mansion for you. Ang ganun, paking ano, tayo dito sa mundo, wala na tayong bahay. Ang bahay nga natin eh, five-star hotel, hindi lang five-star hotel, all-star all house. Bakit po? Sapagat, pag natutulog tayo, yun na nga eh, nakikita natin ang buong kalawakan, yung lahat na stars. But be comforted. Sapagat, sabi ni Lord, I'm going to go to that place and prepare each of you a mansion. Pag may Kristo pala tayo sa ating mga puso, si God na dito sa ating mga puso, wala po tayong dapat inaalala at inaalala. May kita, maski may kosa kinamundo man lingasa, we are the most and the best hopeful people in the whole wide planet. Because God gave us hope. God is the one who gave us the reason to live a positive life because God is real. Tutuwa po ang ating buhay na Diyos. Amen! Palagpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Kaya nga, nung kumarito po ang Diyos na nagkatawang tao si Yesu Cristo, itinuro po niya ang kingdom ng Diyos. Yun po ang unang foundation na dapat malalaman po natin. 
Sabi pa ni Heso Kristo, ang tao ay hindi lang mabuhay sa pisikal na pagkain. Lahat po tayo nagtatrabaho, may the Lord bless you all. Lahat po tayo nag-aaral kasi meron po tayo dream, meron po tayong ambisyon sa mga buhay po natin. May the Lord bless you na makapagtapos tayo sa pag-aaral. Ako din na estudyante. Ako po'y nag-aaral, third year na ako ngayon sa isang college po. Kasi ako'y may dream, may ambition. But let me tell you, ano mang bagay dito sa mundo, huwag mo yung pahintulutan na magtali sa'yo. Sapagkat ang buhay ay hindi lang hanggang doon. Ang buhay ay hindi lang hanggang sa paghahanap ng pera. Ang buhay ay hindi lang hanggang sa makatapos tayo, makatapos tayo sa pag-aaral at makapagtrabaho. Something is beyond. Something is more than, more than, more than and better than this world could offer. Something is better real. And this is life beyond. At ito yung ino-offer po ng Panginoon. Sabi ni Yesu Cristo, sabi po ni Yesu Cristo sa John chapter 10 verse 10, ang demonyo po, ang diablo po ay isang magnanakaw. Na nagnanakaw, pumapatay at nagde-destroy sa buhay po natin. Ninanakaw yung lahat po, health po natin, yung peace po natin. Sa istorya po kanina, ang pamilya po ng bata, after he steals, you know what we have? He kills us. Or eventually, He wanted to destroy our lives to hell. Pero sabi ni Yesu Cristo, on the second paragraph, sabi ni Yesu Cristo, but I have come. Tapos po doon natin ating mga kamay. Sabi po natin, Lord Jesus, thank you because you came. Para hindi ko yun narinig eh. Ulitin po natin, laksan po natin, and let's mean and say, Jesus, thank you because you came. Jesus, thank you because you came. Palagpahan po natin si Lord. Sabi ni God, I have come to give you life and to give you good life. Gusto ni Lord na bigyan tayo ng buhay at magandang buhay. Hindi lang buhay dito sa mundo mga kapatid, kung hindi buhay na mapagkailanman. Kaya nga ang tao nung ginawa ng Diyos, hindi lang siya only an earthbound. Ang tao nung ginawa ng Diyos, He is eternal bound. Ang question ngayon, saan kaya ikaw Kapatid, ikaw, brother, ikaw, sister, mag-spend sa eternity. Now, I come here and relay the same message na binigay na Yesu Cristo. Sabi niya, sino yung paniniwala sa, sa anak ng Diyos ay hindi po, mag, ma, hindi po ma, will not perish but will have everlasting life. Hindi po mamamatay, will not go to hell but will have everlasting life. Praise be to the living God. I was... 14 years old when I accepted the Lord Jesus. And by the way, now 43, about to be 43. Thank God. 14 years old ako nung tinagap ko si Yesu Cristo. I had so many crises of buhay ko. I was also an abused boy. By the way, I'm not that story. Huh? I'm not that boy in the story. I just got it. And then I had very low self-esteem. Alam niyo yun mga kabataan, mababa talaga yung tingin ko sa aking sarili. Kulang ako sa confidence sa sarili ko. Nung narinig ko yung uh, minsahe po, in-embrace ko yung minsahe yun. And beginning that, that day, it was September 17, 1987. Beginning that day up to now, I'm thankful and I'm ever grateful to our Lord Jesus Christ because ang Panginoon po, ang grace po ng Panginoon nag-keep po sa akin na hindi, hindi ako, hindi ako nakatalikod sa Panginoon. Tuloy-tuloy yung pagsiserve ko ni God. And I have this faith deep inside my heart. When that day will come, not, not, not yet, ha, uh, anytime near, I, I will grow until I will be more than 80 years old. Ito yun din ang pinag-pray ko sa atin. We will have good life. Amen. Amen. Healthy life. Ang buong buhay po natin, mga kapatid, we will be, we'll be blessed by the Lord. But when that day will come for me, I know where I am going. I, I am going into the presence of God. Kaya tinatanong kita, how sure are you, where are you going? Pag hindi, hindi po gani alam kung saan yung destination mo, kinoconvince kita ngayon, pinipersuade kita ngayon, ibigay mo yung buhay mo sa Panginoon at hindi ka magsisisi. Sabi pa ni Billy Graham, Sa lahat ng mga tao na nagbigay ng kanilang buhay sa Panginoon, hindi pa sila hindi pa sila nakakita na nagsisisi sila. Sapagkat, so, he who follows the Lord Jesus Christ actually found the best thing that a man could ever find in this, in this life. Are you still there? Amen! 
Palakpakan po doon natin ang buhay ng Panginoon. Pangalawa po, na yung ginawa ng Panginoon, He heal all of their diseases. Sino po sa inyo dito may mga karamdaman? God can heal you. Mga kosa kita kasi hindi nun, mga mga impairment na di atun. El Señor se cura con usted. Natatawa ko mga kapatid kasi may mga iba po na naka alam po sa ministry natin, minsan po nagre-request nila sa akin. Ayun, may mga sakit, no? So, akala nila, pastor, no, ay baka albularyo, okay? So, minsan pa nagbibisit ako kasi may sakit, ano po, pastor, tinatanong ako, sincerely talaga sa pamilya, ilang kandela gusto ninyo, pastor? <laughs> bueno, ilan, kay may pregunta ko, Migo, kaya rito ka man yan, pastor? <laughs> Mga kapatid, lahat po tayo pwedeng makapag-pray sa may sakit. By the way, sa ating sarili, hindi po natin yan kapangyarihan. Kapangyarihan po yan sa, sa pangalan po ng ating buhay na Diyos. Sabi po ng Biblia po, sa pangalan ni Heso Kristo, lahat pong mga tuhod ay pipiko. Lahat pong mga dila ay magsasabi na si Heso Kristo ay Diyos. Amen. Lahat ng puwersa po, puwersa ng karamdaman, puwersa, puwersa ng sakit, puwersa ng uh, kahirapan, lahat po ito ay pipiko at magsasabi na Jesus Christ is God kahit na po si Satan. Doon ang birong na makikita po natin sa karikatsyor, nag-aaway po ang Diyos at saka si Satan at parang natatalo po ang Diyos. Mga kapatid, don't ever think it. Hindi po natatalo ang Diyos, mga kapatid. Amen. Amen. Ang Diyos po ay sadyang makapangyarihan. Every one of us will say, praise God. Praise God. Let's give God a clap of praise. At ito yung magandang mensahe, mga kapatid. Sapagkat hindi lang tayo pinapangaral ng Diyos about the kingdom. At hindi lang niya pinapagaling ang ating mga may at ating mga sakit. At alam po ninyo, tayo po din ay pinifed the Lord miraculously. Ang ibig sabihin nun, binibless niya yung buhay po natin. Binibless ni Lord yung uh, isang isang buhay po natin. Meron ako isang kaibigang pastor. Malaki na ako ang church niya, nandun sa Manila. The story of this man really would encourage you if you, if you could hear. Ang itong kaibigang pastor ko, noon po, hindi siya nakapagtapos ng, I don't know, high school gano'y. Sapagkat, siya po'y isang magnanakaw. Trabaho niya, doon sa kanilang siyudad, siya po'y magbabantay daw ng mga auto at saka mga sasakyan. Nakikita niyo yung, ano, yung mga, kasi talaman na nakikita sa buwaga. Yan mga, nakatabi siya. Di ba? Ang kilaririgor, alin? Kasi kailan? Parking boy. Ay, no, parking boy. Tampa-tampa parking boy Eli, pero mira si Eli, chinikil mga auto nuevo, bonito, mira le, chinikil le riquezas dentro, ay chinikil mga gamit gani, kel chucha, chinaw, kaabri, nai, el mga riquezas niya dentro, nai kel, rubaw, amo kel si, porque di su yung vida antes, hasta o no chea puede liwi, chinikil gadri, kung ang sina. Yan, siguro yan na kilele para meron mga pitaka na tanda ng iglesia. By the way, here in Acts, wag, anong tawag nito? Wala, wala, wala tayong may pag-alala na yung, yung ano, bago dun sa likod, yung cellphone ko'y mawawala. Sapagkat tayo po'y mga anak ng Panginoon, wala pong mawawala sa atin dito. Everyone say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Narinig niya yung salita ng Panginoon. Nakalimutan niya siya pala yung pumunta doon na magnakaw at saka nakalimutan niya magnanakaw siya. Binigay niya ang kanyang buhay. Hindi po nakapagtapos sa pag-aaral. High school. Magnanakaw na eh. Dahan-dahan binago ng Diyos ang kanyang buhay. Siya po'y tinawag ng Panginoon at na nag-aaral sa isang Bible school. Hindi na nakapagtapos ng high school. Pero nabigyan siya ng pagkakataon na makapag-aaral po sa high school. Ang naging mentor niya isang Amerikano. Kaya makinig ka sa kanya, nagsasalita siya ay parang Amerikano, aksintunong Amerikano. Kasi yung anointing ng kanyang American mentor ay nagtransfer sa kanya, ay parang Amerikano din magsasalita. 
At tingnan mo, hindi mo buko at hindi ka sukat makaakala na itong taong ko, itong pastor na ito, noon pala ay si Boy Sputnik. <laughs> yung ganun. Pag maglapit tayo pala sa Panginoon, babaguhin niya yung buhay natin. At hindi lang yun, hindi tayo iiwan ng Panginoon na wala pong ano, silbi sa buhay. Bibigyan ng Panginoon ng kabuluhan yung buhay po natin. Kung wala kang trabaho, bibigyan ka hindi basta-bastang trabaho, magandang trabaho. Amen. Nanay ko po ay grade 3 lang. Hindi nakapagtapos ng grade 4. O grade 4, hindi nakapagtapos ng grade 5. Ang tatay ko po ay grade 1 lang. May old man. My, my dad died when I was third year high school. Akala ko hindi ko makapagtapos sa pag-aaral. At alam po ninyo, ako po'y nagkasawa ng maaga kasi kinawa ko ng Panginoon ng maaga. Tanungin ninyo yun, maganda doon sa likod. I was 19. So sabi pa ng mga, ano ko, ikaw, Berli, sinayang mo yung buhay mo. Bumiyak ako. Pero dito sa kalogloban kay buturan ko, alam na alam ko na hindi talaga nasayang yung buhay ko. Kasi binigay ko yung buhay ko sa Panginoon. By the way, hindi po masasayang buhay mo kahit ano po pag ibibigay mo yun sa Panginoon. Make long story short, we bought three children. Yung eldest ko po ay nandun sa Saudi ngayon. She is a registered nurse. Yung pangalawa ko, lalaki, he's working with uh, the doctor's hospital. Tanongin niyo si Helen Lenz. <laughs> Registered medical technology. Tatoy ko po ay grade 1 lang. Nanay ko po ay grade 3 or grade 4 lang. Nagkasawa ako, 19 years old po. Sabi ng iba, sinayang yung buhay mo. In-embrace ko ang Panginoon. Sabi ko, Lord, susunod ako sa'yo. A few years ago, the Lord sent me back to school. I am now third year in law school. On 2017, by God's grace, I will graduate. God willing, I can take my bar exam right away. And I'm trusting, believing the Lord in 2018, I will be a lawyer. To Him be the glory. Sikreto muna natin yun, ha? Hindi ako nagbubugal. Ito yung nakikita ko, eh. Ang Panginoon, pang mag-bless sa'yo, hindi ka i-bless na kulang-kulang. Tanungin ako ninyo, wala akong pera. <laughs> pera ko minsan, 100, 100 lang. Bigay yung imisis. Pag alam ninyo mga kapatid, sa low school, lahat kong libro, bago. Mga kaklasi, kung may trabaho, pupunta ko sa akin, girl, pastor, hiram ako ng libro. Sabi ko, mm -mm. Are you able to take care of it? Kasi lahat ng libre ko'y bago binigay ng Panginoon. Ganun po ang Diyos po natin. Amen. Huwag kang magsabi, ikaw po'y anak ng mahirap. Nung kinagap po ang Diyos, nag-change ka na ng residence, nag-change ka na ng identity. Tatay mo po ang siyang may likha ng langit at lupa. Amen. Amen. God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask of Him. May bago kaming challenge, yung lalaki ko. Maliit namin, great to pala. Yun ang magpapastor. Yun kasi ang the best of the flow. Gusto namin ibigay yung the best. Yung pangalawa, sabi niya, gusto kong magmedisina, magdoktor. Graduate na kami dyan eh. Pwede ka palang magkaroon kahit wala ka. Manalig ka lang sa Diyos. Eh nakapagpapos yung dalawa wala kami. Nanalig lang kami sa Panginoon. Kung nga, mag-prepare chair na eh. Sa ngayon, sabi ko kay Sister Delia, sa anak sa anak namin, anak, God will provide. Pareho ba ni Abraham? Sabi ng Diyos na I will ask you to offer your son. Pumunta sila sa Mount Moriah. Naalala niya yun? Tanong ng bata, sabi niya, Papa, Daddy, si Isaac, yung maliit pa. Sana yung offering natin, halos mayak yung si Abraham kasi ang sabi ng Diyos, siya po yung offering ng bata. Nagdala na siya ng dagger. Pero iba yung sinagot niya, pananampalataya, 
ganun din. Sundin din natin yun. Pag wala kang bigas, pag kang gumanon, wala na. It's the end of the world. May isa kong kaklase, masama lang pakiramdam niya. Sabi niya, mamatay na siguro ako nun. Ako po'y gumaganon ganun sa loob ko. Huwag ganun. Kailangan lang lalabas po sa ating bibig, hindi yung positive words. Yun po ay faith words. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When your classmates are saying, they bull na tayo, deep turn na. <laughs> Sabi mo, kayo mag-deep bull, sarili sarili mo, huwag kang mag-google din. You talk, you talk that in faith. Ako po'y papasa, hindi lang papasa, and I will have the best of the grades kasi tutulungan ako ng Panginoon. Amen. Sabi ni Abraham sa kanyang anak, anak, the Lord will provide. Kaya nga ako sa, ano yun, sa Hebrew yun, yung mountain, pinalitan po ni Abraham, sabi niya, this will be Mount Jehovah Jireh. Made to say, the Lord provides. Nung dumating sila doon, tinitest lang pala ni Lord si Abraham. At sabi ng Lord, do not offer Abraham. Ngayon, alam ko na, na hindi pa pag-ibig mo ay hindi sa mga doon. People ask me often, why do you smile all the time, Pastor? You ask, you asking me? I'm smiling all the times because I have all of the reasons under heaven to be happy always. I have God on my side. Will I not be happy? Yung isang tao na nalo po ng 2 million sa lottery, huwag pa kayong sumunod ha? Masaya masaya siya. Alam po ninyo, pag tayo po'y sumunod sa Panginoon, hindi lang 2 million lottery na nalo na, na panalo natin. We have all everything. Amen. Sabi po ni David sa Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. Ang Diyos po ang tagabantay ng buhay ko. Wala na akong hahanapin pang iba. You may not have everything that the world can offer, but if you have God, you are complete. Amen. Siguro dalawa lang ang pangalun mo, isa lang ang sapatos mo. Siguro mo maliit lang ang bahay mo. Wala kang anumang luho dito sa mundo. Ngayon, ngayon pa. Bibigyan ka ng Lord in the near future. But let me tell you, pagkasama mo ang Diyos, pag meron kang Diyos sa buhay mo, you have it. You are complete. You are perfect. I mean, life is perfect. May tao pa ho dyan? Palakpakan na natin ang Diyos. Yung si Jesus. Ang Diyos po natin is na nanangri ka. And you know what? Our God has never changed. Nagbago naman ang Zamboanga. Nagbago ka naman. Nagbago naman yung kapitbahay ko natin. Pero I tell you, since time beginning, now and forever, hindi po magbabago, magpakilanman ang ating Diyos na buhay. He is a good guy. Amen. There are these two things I would like to share and I'm almost done. Are you still there? Amen? Amen. First, alam po ninyo, kahit mabait at talagang sadyang mabuti ang Panginoon, it's just what I wonder, a great surprise, why people cannot still receive Him. Diba? Makin, ang sina ka na yun, bueno el diato yung Senyor, pero el mga hindi, Willfully ba? Ta-insisti ka? Tapirakara ko nila. Pero thanks God, eto nga yung birakara. Tahite, yan ba sa teko nila? And you must be blessed. Amen? Amen. Sabi pa ni Lord sa Matthew 23 verse 37, How often I wanted to, I wanted to gather your children together that the way a hen gathers her cheeks under her wings, but you are unwilling. Sabi ni Lord, araw-araw gusto ko kayong ikadel under sa aking wings. Ang alam niyo yung galiena, mga diatun mga hermana galiena ko ano na STI, ang kentin, manala si kanila sa tapos si Lumaya, at hartagan siya kung besa ay kanila insinyano. Linggo a Franca, Castellano, Chabahano, Lord. Palapak, no, kita ko na yung mga sisters. Sister Tony, Agudia, anda kami alas subiyo. Kono teres, ha? 
you know what? Kaliena ako al Senyor. Kunil mga ano daw piso. Talamale. Ay, tine, ote, ote des. Aki man kadal under the broom of my wings. Because in me, you will have protection. Pero, in sense of wonder, mga gente daw, ta insisti siyempre, man reject ko ng Senyor. Por eso, ganta, bless you, Lord. Seek ye the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. No, but, desaleha ko ng Senyor. Sa negative chance, dali, to L2, bida ko nili, no talaga ko nili, abra sa peko nili. Amen? Amen. And the second is this. And I would like to end here. Okay. El gente si tan reject, no? Con el Dios. Ahora si, I would like to speak about rejection of people of you. Con us. Ilan na ba sa atin dito na ka-experience ko ng rejection? Pastor, bibili ako ng ropa. Ang ropa. Ano nang ropa ko yung brad? Cinco beses siya kumigo yan, Pastor. Pastor. Rejection. Ayun, sa eskwela, no, binubuli tayo. Kaya nga, hindi mo mapasok ang bata sa school. Tayo. Ilan ang mga tao na nagbidestroy sa akin bilang pastor? At ilan po sa kanila po ay mga people na we mean them so much and we love them so much. Pero in-encourage ako ni Lord na not to hate, but to love, to bless. Ito yun, no? When you experience rejections, Never feel bitter because God shall give you the best. Amen. Pwede yan. Tweetable yan. Praise the Lord. Sabi doon natin yan, can you place down a palm to our chest? Say that with me. When you experience one, two, three. When you experience rejections, never feel bitter because God shall give you the best. I would like to relate to you this story very quick and I'm, I will be done. In uh, Genesis, okay, Lord, Lord says, "If the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, the water is ours, so he called the name of the well Ezek, because they contended with him, then they dug another well, and they quarreled over the also, so he called its name Sitna. And he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it, so he called its name Rehoboth. I would like, there is this word I would like to introduce to you and you may claim this to God each time. It is Rehoboth. R-E-H-O-B-O-T-H. And it plays, the, oh, there's the Rehoboth. It says, so he called his name Rehoboth, saying, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. See, Isaac, I will end here. Tan, ah, uh, usa si Chabacano pati kalot, kalot siyempre, no? Kuhaan nga uh, poso, kay ala sila Israel, may man agwa, no? Tiyan na sila agwa. Ara sila bisinos di ila, yari patas eh. Sali ka muki? Kasi di inyo? Pero sila kaya agwera. Hello? Por eso si Isaac, Yan ang ralik el primero poso esek kay yung pilya daw kanila. Yan dali na ang mga lugar. Yan kwera tamin li. Basta anak kita del Senyor makikos kita mag-invest man in labor. El Senyor man bless ko natin. Yan kwera li. Amo siyempre ang pisinos di suyo. Mga men of girak. Oy, salik ka mo eh. Isa din yung lugar. Di amon ese agwa. Yan sa kakamot. Di amon si salik ka mo eh. Ang si Isaac was helpless. Yan nung ka kayo lugar. El segundo abdali. Okay, this is going to be sick now. Pero he didn't give up. He went to another place and died the third time. And there was plenty of water than the first and then the second. I like to say the word, the best. Diba tayo, no? Yan mag yan, makita ko niya, hindi iwan. Pinigay ko lahat, pinigay ko siya, makita ko pinagpalik. Ikaw babae ka, lalaki siya ako, ano? Sana isumpain ka ng Diyos, huwag gawin yun. Oh, don't we feel bitter? So move on. Ayan pala, who comes along is the best. Praise God. 
Yun si ano, isa? Nung naka-bukay sila ng pangatlo, daming tubig, mas puro pa yung tubig, mas full of minerals pa yung tubig. Kaya nga sabi niya, praise be to the living God, beginning today, I will call this Rehoboth. Bakit daw? Sapagat ang ibig sabihin now, for now the Lord has made room for us. Ang ibig sabihin nun, binigyan na ako ng Panginoon ng tamang timing. Tamang mga tao, tamang lugar. Sabi niya, and this is what I want to speak to you, ladies and gentlemen, kasi mabahit po ang Diyos. He wants to give you a fruitful life in this world. Hindi lang in the world to come, but in this world. You receive the word of God this morning. Amen. Amen. Now before we stand, before we pray, quickly, ano yung mga problema mo ngayon? Ano yung mga burden mo ngayon? Ano ba yung gusto mong hilingin sa Diyos? Hindi ho tayo magsisigaw-sigaw. Hindi natin yan isabi-sabi sa kahit okay, sino. Kung hindi, idiretso natin yun, i-relate kay Lord Ihilingin po natin yun. Idulog po natin yun sa Panginoon. So ngayong magang ito, huwag tayong mahiya to where you are standing, to your place. As I will ask you, tayo po ito ngayon.